Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Token Moments. My name is Token Makinwa. It's our weekly hangout and I absolutely love it. Like I do not know what my life would be without chatting with you guys. So last week, you guys complained about the video being really short. Ah! Are you kidding me? Here yeah, I was thinking, okay, Toke, you sometimes tend to ramble on and on and on without considering people and thinking if they have that much time to spend on YouTube. But I'm really honored. Wow. I'm shocked. Okay, today's video, maybe we'll do like a half hour. <laughs> Just joking. I caught you there, didn't I? Wow, so it's the Christmas season and I promised you guys last week that I was going to do the famous vlog that we do yearly which is on how to catch a man yes if you're looking at me and thinking why are we always talking about men my answer is why not you're thinking about it when you're with your close friends you talk about it when you're out there in some social gatherings you make mention of it so why are you coming up here acting like mm, i don't need a man i'm good keep quiet everybody knows you need one and you're thinking about it so i'm only just voicing that which is in your head don't shoot the messenger just take what is for you and leave the rest and if everything is for you why not take it we have been doing this for two years now two years ago i started doing uh, how to catch a man at christmas and a lot of people loved it and a lot of people actually used part of the things that i mentioned in there and it worked for them okay so last year i did it again and i also did get feedback and i thought you know what let's do it again this week so while i was just preparing to do this whole uh, hooking a man at Christmas. I saw this meal that caught my eye and I thought you know what let's do this this week and then next week in time for Christmas a lot of the I just got back a lot of the I'm landing in Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja because there are also big boys in those places though. There are big boys in Abuja and big boys in Port Harcourt. Come 2016 no need for all this nonsense nonsense relationships that are going nowhere and if you're in a relationship that you're quite unsure of Perhaps you get out of it at Christmas and mingle. It's for your own good. Who knows? You just might find your own knight in shiny armor. Let's hope that he does not end up being a fool. But leave that for next week. This week, you know that I love to always share stuff with you guys. Stop making permanent changes to temporary situations. I have to sound this way because when I read that email, I thought, you crazy. So I'm not going to go into too much details. I'll just summarize the email for you guys. So this girl hits me up that email and he's saying to me how to care. I'm dating this guy who is doing very well, but he's not exposed. You know, this is the sort of lifestyle she's used to. She's quite exposed. Fashion is her thing. And this guy that she's dating, I started dating for four months. He's a really sweet guy, but you know, just some certain things that doesn't sit well with her. And she doesn't want to sound as if she's complaining already. So she's looking for subtle ways to make those changes, i.e. His dressing which she pinpointed the guy just has no clue dresses anyhow he has the money but doesn't know how to combine things he's quite local and when she's out with her friends she's sort of feeling embarrassed all the time you know he doesn't have basic etiquette the guy just talks anyhow the guy would be picking his teeth with toothpick without covering his mouth things like that really really irritates her so she's asking me how do I just sort of you know make these changes maybe talk about it without making it seem as if i'm trying to make him seem as if he's rad i mean i like him he makes me laugh the relationship seems to be going very well he's doing very well but he just needs some help socially leave the guy like that at least till he puts a ring on your finger look at you miss i have arrived miss i am social i know everybody he's embarrassing me he does not dress well is it the outfit you are going to eat you will not sit down and listen to me right now you better leave him like that too. That's the problem with we ladies, you know? You start looking for problems where there are none. The guy is local. You now want to step him up, eh? So that other girls outside will now find him attractive, eh? You don't know that the reason why some girls date guys is because some certain girls are dating them too. Nobody has told you that. Uh, look, there are some certain guys that people will probably look over and think, yeah, he's all right, mm, he's all right. But the moment they hear you are dating that guy, the guy becomes a catch. You haven't heard? Uh, look at Jay-Z. Have you forgotten the years that Jay-Z was ugly and he says girls will not even touch him? He snatched Beyonce and he has money. Right now, half of the girls that will follow him will follow him because that, <laughs> that guy is tapping Beyonce's ass. And if somebody like Beyonce can date the guy, then the guy is cool enough. Why are you trying to touch him up for other girls to now realize what you have? Eh? Learn. Ladies, learn. Stop making these changes. Leave him alone with his localness. When he marries you, you can make those changes. After all, you are his wife. You like the one that we're doing hoi, 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 hoi over the place. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey, what's up? How you doing? 
Don't worry, step him up. Hmm? Change his wardrobe, use his money to touch him up. By the time the guy now sees that, I ain't bad, <laughs> have arrived. Let's see if this guy will remember you. My sister, you better hold on to your man. Love him like that. If you think he has a big tummy, in that department, I can say maybe you introduce some healthy eating and you have to do it together. You know, you two, you won't, you won't act like you're trying to get him to lose weight. You just say, okay, instead of us having this, let's have that. Even if, look, eh, let, me, let me break it down and be real with you. Leave him like that till you marry him. Let him marry you first. Let him marry you first. This is temporary. He's a boyfriend. Okay? And you yourself said he's doing very well. Already as the guy is looking, there are babes that are still cutting eye for him. All of a sudden, the guy will now realize what's called designer clothes. Eh? He will now know how to <laughs> combine. <laughs> the guy will now understand how to wear those nice perfume that once females smell it, they are already knocked off their feet. Eh? Before you know what's going on, he start feeling cool for you. You who did the change, you will now be looking old in his eyes. All of a sudden, the guy will now realize that, ah, what should I settle for this girl when I can get that and that and that? <laughs> he who has ears, let him hear. Date him like that. Work on your relationship. Focus on the things that build your relationship. Leave all these things outside. Now, I'm not saying it's not important, though. There must have been something about his rasness that caught your eye, or his localness, as you put it. And if you could say yes to him like that and date him like that, why are you trying to make these changes? Wait till he marries you. When he marries you, then when you guys go on holiday, when you're shopping together, you now start introducing him to some certain things, even if he wants to feel cool for you. He's your husband. Or like a boyfriend that you show the way. When you show the way, they now decide to show you that they have arrived. Many women have done this. Go and ask them where they ended up. Perhaps they did not even get the ring. Listen to me. Date the guy like that. If you knew that you could say yes to him, uh -huh, he does not dress nice. But at least he has money. You do not complain about him being broke. You said he's doing very well. Uh -huh. Focus on using the money to build yourself a home a house, a life with him that he would always want to come back home to. Then when you now have him where you need him, maybe when he's now your husband, you can now start buying him designer slippers. You can now start buying him like fancy wallets. Don't do it as a boyfriend. Have you not heard that famous saying? Don't use boyfriend to do husband and husband to do boyfriend. Why do you care about all your friends and how they're laughing at you? The ones that they're following that are all so fancy. Do you know what they're going through in there? If this guy makes you happy, leave him the way he is, oh. Do not open his eyes to things of the world. Let him be modest. Yes, leave him the way he is. Walk around with what he already has. That is my message of today. You will thank me later. Go and ask all your aunties or your mother. They will tell you. He's still your boyfriend. Stop trying to make him your husband. Stop trying to think about the altar before you even get halfway. After all, this relationship is not even up to a year. You're already thinking about how you want to step the guy up. Eh, Madam Stepper Upper. Ha. I'm not mocking you. I am hailing you. You love fashion. You love the good things of life. You know, when he gets there, he has to have social etiquette. I understand. Carry on. By the time you give him the social etiquette and he starts chatting up all the girls around the table, eh? or those friends that are looking at him and thinking, the guy is sort of lookout. When you now touch him up, they'll think, ah, this guy is not bad. From there, if he decides to chat one of them up, then you understand that they also want what you have. He who has ears, let him here. That's all I'm going to talk to you guys about this week. Ladies, stop making permanent decisions eh, on temporary situations. Stop trying to change situations that are not yet yours. You know, all those girls that will enter a guy's house before the guy even asks you, you're already cooking, cleaning his clothes, sorting out his laundry, commanding his cook, acting as if madame has arrived. Oh, uh, hmm. Let him put a ring on it first. Oh. Let the guy upgrade you before you upgrade yourself in his palace. Because for all you know, you will change the furniture Mm, because this is not your style you will change the china because uh, i can't eat in this place oh my god it's so local and i want to organize dinner parties for my friends you will change where he lives and change his cook and act as if oh this is not how things should be another girl is going to reap all your hard work at that moment the guy has now come to the cool side of life the guy that was not so cool is now extremely cool huh? and when it's too cool for school he just might think of you as one of those things you used to hang out with in the past open your eyes thank you guys for watching next week hmm all the people who are already in town and are looking for the places to go to meet cool guys we'll talk about how to catch a man this christmas hmm. and if you already have a man are you sure that man is yours hmm. christmas time you hear all sorts of stories thank you guys for watching please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitter i am a toaster with a double r until i come your way again Goodbye.